Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelechi and it's been really long. I am so sorry. I keep apologizing every time but I'm really sorry because I've been held up with work and I haven't had the time to do a tutorial. But today there's something I want to share you with you guys. Now this is my Canva account. It's pretty nice. So what I want to show you today, let's go over to an empty page just creates a new design and come over to your canvas now if you notice this is um canvas shapes okay i just went to elements and looked for line shapes now before now there were some particular shapes that we could find here but for a while now it's been difficult locating like it's like it just went off the radar like it's extinct and it's crazy because that shape helps me a lot and I know if it helps me a lot then definitely it's going to help someone else someone else might have been using it but I can find it in Canva I've been trying to look for it as you can see this is where it stops this is where the whole shape stop if you noticed Canva brought about these shapes when they brought about these new shapes I did a tutorial on about the new Canva shapes you can find it in my YouTube channel just scroll down you'll see the video i did a tutorial on that and there were new shapes these shapes that allow you to write inside okay the shapes allow you to write inside and all but when the shape was when the shape this new shapes was introduced okay there was still that particular shape was also here you can find it under this section right now it's difficult you can't find it so i was doing some research and then i found something that might be useful okay so if you've not been able to find that shape which i'll be introducing to you guys the shape we have um the particular shape i'm talking about we have it's there's one that comes in a square form okay yes a squared shape that has a border okay that's the shape i'm talking about that's an outline that's the particular shape you know there's the one for square the one for circle okay and then there's one with the curved edges so those particular shapes are pretty much extinct except maybe canva is hiding them somewhere and we have been unable to locate it since so if you have an idea you can please let me know in the comment section but let me just share with you guys the tips and what i was able to find out now what I did was I went over to my past designs where I have used that particular shape. Now it's not here, it's not here, it's not here, but it is here. It is here. Now this is it. This is the shape that I'm talking about. You can adjust it, you can increase it, you can change the color. This shape is super helpful to me so i don't know about you but if you have been searching for this particular shape then you've come to the right place if you notice i had to go all the way all the way before i could locate it now before when you just come over here when you come over here and when you come over to line on shapes you definitely see the shape here but it's not like that anymore so what you're going to do is and it's not like it's not like if it were to be an image that we're looking for we could easily just start it and or add the folder and then to look at it we just have to go to the folder or come over to um the start section should be somewhere here yeah. Yes, so you can really just start the element or the image and then come over here and get it. But it's an element, it's not an image, it's a shape rather, not an element, not an image. So we cannot start it, we cannot add it to a folder. So, what you will simply do is just note the particular design that you've used it before. This is the one, this is the one I've used. 
so you can search for it and all you have to do is copy it i'm going to click on right click on my mouse copy it and then go over to the design i want to use it for and then i'm going to paste it so now i can adjust it i can increase the size I love this shape because of how it's I can adjust it now you can find similar shapes in Canva let me show you how now just search for a square or rectangle whichever one now you spot the difference or this I'm going to show you the difference between this one and this one see all the shapes I am seeing it's not see all the shapes now this is the one I just copied from my previous designs and this is the one we just opened now if you notice this one has one two three four five six seven eight adjusting points meaning i can move it from the side move it from the side move it from the side move it from all this angle making it easy for making it more flexible for me to adjust but this one just has four points four adjustable points meaning i cannot reduce it this way i can only increase it i can only increase it this way same with this same with this so reason why this shape is still the goat <laughs> yeah so this shape is really important now just note the design that you've used it before i also used it here so i can copy it and paste it and then use so the shape isn't entirely extinct in canva you just need to know how to you just have to locate it from your previous design and then use it so yes now another way which may not be as effective as this one i just showed you so just note that you can copy let me repeat it again if you want to get this shape okay that you can easily adjust because you cannot find it under where it usually was before if you want to get this shape okay all you have to do is go to your design page and look for a design that you have used it before because definitely for you to be searching for it that means you've been using it before so go over to the design okay that you've used it before copy it and then come over to the new design that you want to use it and then paste it it's as simple as that that's the first step now the second step would be for you to come over to elements go then come to tables this is a tables so now i'm just going to delete row delete row delete column delete column and then delete row so we have just this now if you notice this is quite similar to see it's quite similar to this take it all the way to the back and then so you can adjust this one from one two three four five three seven eight eight points and you can also adjust this one from one two three four five six seven eight points so this for this particular one this one you might not be able to get other angles like the circle or the curved um square or rectangle but for this one if you have used the square before then you can also find it from your past design okay it's been a why i use something like that so i'm just going to use 
this one as an example but hopefully canva if you're seeing this then please you can bring back our shape where we normally have access to it which is here because this particular method is hectic something that i would easily just come over here and get it now i cannot so please canva help us bring back our shapes and for those of you that might need this tutorial i hope it has helped you and if this is how this tutorial has been helpful to you then you can just drop a comment or a like okay so thank you for watching my name is kalechi and please if you have not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe okay thank you and bye bye